Hello everyone! The Helium Network has been growing and this time I've got another manufacturer that has sent me a miner to review, demo, and all that stuff. And you want to stay tuned because I'm going to give some details at the end of how you can get in a list where you can host one of these Nebra units just in a couple weeks here. So stay tuned and let's check out this Nebra unit. I've been dying to unbox this and of course I don't want to ruin any of the surprises that I that I see. So let's check this out. So the cool thing here before we open crack open the box is actually look at the box. So here's Nebra. You can see down here in the bottom right hand corner there are three different variants and uh, this is it looks like China and then Europe which can also do India and Russia and then US 915 AU 915 KR. I think that's, is that Korea? And AS 923 123. So this is lots of more intention. There's a lot of thought put into this box. And I, my, my suspicions are that Nebra's going to keep shipping. So this is really exciting for them. And congrats to them. They've had a, they've had a very difficult journey to get here. And so this is just exciting for them to finally be shipping this product out. And, we're going to be able to take a look at that. So I am excited. What's inside gives you all the details there. And there are some specifications over here as well. I will let you read those. I'm not going to read them all to you. And then on the back, uh, I don't know if any of these is doxing worthy or not but basically there's barcodes and qr codes and all that kind of stuff so that's just the bottom of it all right and then you can see i have not opened this thing this is security sealed so let's check this out now i usually do this with an exacto knife but this is just what i have available right now i actually brought this because some people were like what you know, open it up and all that kind of stuff. And um, we'll see. I don't know if there's security screws in here or not, but let's open this up. So you're, you're seeing this all fresh like me. All right, get this on camera here. All right, look at that, nice and shiny. Here's a, an, an antenna here. Looks a lot like the uh, antennas for um, the rack antennas. Uh, it's a little bit different taper there at the, sorry, uh, at the end here. I th so definitely not the exact same. Uh, let's see here if I can read the, this is a 3DBI. So that is the DEETS there. Here's the power supply. So just 12 volt power supply. Let's actually open this guy up. Ooh, I got confused. I looked at, I thought this was the open side. It's actually open from the top. There we go. All right. Ooh, so interesting. So if you're doing a Nebra, you get all of the different types of connectors here. So you're gonna get EU. And I don't know, I don't even know where all these are. Um, is that is that UK? I don't know. Uh, it's been a while since I, I've been to the UK. So apologies to my around the world customers or watchers. Here's another one. So I know that this is probably important to some of you. Sorry, I'll get the focus to focus on there. And then the last one here that I did not show is the one that I will use. So, there we go. So there's your versatile end of the plug and then here's the circular connector as well. Kind of the same, similar to Bobcat, but it's really cool that all the connectors are, are included in there. I kind of like that. 
There's a couple stickers for um, frequency. It just gives you information on, uh, it appears like your, I mean, um, MAC addresses or something like that, I think. Yeah, yeah. So it just gives the QR code and some other details. So I assume if you're, if you're and I'm not going to show all of them, but um, if you scan that, you're going to have some details in there. Um, I'll, I'll do that maybe here in just a little bit and see what, what pops up. And then some very cool Nebra stickers in there. There's one, and then here's another one. And then for the actual miner. It's really snug in here. I'm trying different ways to pull it out. And I'd say a very Minnesota thing. I, mean, I grew up in kind of the Midwest, so I can say oofta. Wow, that is quite snug in there. Am I doing this wrong? This is the wrong thing. Ah, oh, there. Yeah, got it. It actually didn't take too much force, so I uh, just, I worked it from multiple angles and kind of shimmied it out. So just be careful with that. Take your time. Obviously, you don't want to break your miner. This, these are very hard to come by still. Uh, it's been six months, I think, since I did my original unboxing video. And so you still want to be careful with these. It's going to take a while to get a hold of them. Of course, with more manufacturers coming online, um, that's going to get better. So I say that. I said that like six months ago, too. But anyways, let's take a look at this. All right, nice shiny plastic Nebra. So nothing on the front or sides on the bottom. Again, it's the same stickers. So I think that um, you just have multiples of those stickers that you can put in different locations to remember things down. This, that's actually kind of a, a neat idea for um, fleet owners if they need to keep tabs on their devices or something like that to have, have extra ones of these um, to have on hand or put in a notebook or something like that. Uh, let's take a look at that back side here. So we have, of course, the power and then signal. Just a green and it looks like power is on the bottom. So then green would be status. And then the button, I'm assuming this is for pairing. And I do like the clickable button. That is very, very nice. Of course, your, your connector. And I'd have to look at, at my official language, but I'm pretty sure that that is the uh, uh, RPSMA connector. The internet will prove me wrong if I said that wrong, no doubt. Thank you all for commenting on these videos. They're awesome. Um, just appreciate the corrections and also the insights. And then you've got your ethernet jack as well. So that is that. So obviously with the, now, of course, if you, if you just got your miner and you, you've not done this, and more than likely that, that's the reason you're watching this, right? So you want to make sure that your uh, Nebra is powered off anytime you're doing any sort of uh, working with your antenna. You never want to power it up without the antenna uh, connected. So make sure that if you're going to change your antenna, uh, that you power it off before you power it on. So there you go. That's what it would look like. Now, I do recommend that, that you try it out. See what uh, where this can go, uh, you know, near a window, or even I've seen some other instances where going through just drywall, right? So this just happens to be pretty thin drywall, and this is an interior uh, wall, so this wouldn't be very good. But on an exterior wall, if you are you don't have an electricity running behind it and stuff, and it's pretty standard material, it actually might be better than a double pane of glass. So try out some different locations. And then the cool thing with this is if you're getting your own miner, you get to try out discovery mode. And discovery mode is the best way to try and fastest way to try out different positions in your home. So try it with the stock antenna. Literally one of my hosts is using a stock antenna and it's beating the pants out of other outdoor setups that I have. I cannot explain it, 
of course, I did all of those installs my, myself for uh, uh, quite a few in the area. And it's just sitting there doing its work with a stock antenna, making me feel bad. <laughs> But it's just great. It just goes to show that I've got great signal such that so much great signal and coverage that it, that one of these can just sitting on a windowsill or something like that can be soaking up the HNT and providing the coverage. Right. That's we need to stick to or at least my channel, hopefully, and the people that watch are, are more about the application of this than just the mining. So you'll definitely want to try this in one spot. Move it around your home. Try Wi-Fi. Try Ethernet. Ethernet is definitely better. Uh, the, the rumor uh, is that Nebra has put an incredible amount of effort into getting these to sync very, very quickly. Uh, one of my friends just got theirs, and they said uh, it, it, uh, went, it fully synced within a day, and they said that actually they, they messed up, which is still... Uh, which I want to remind everybody, check your cables, check everything, because if you can't get internet connectivity to your miner, you can't sync. So no matter how much work they, they put into this, they can't sync unless you have the internet connected. So uh, they, they said it probably would have taken a lot faster, but theirs took 14 hours because they had to figure out that they didn't hook up the right cable, I think, as they... they hooked up to their, their Ethernet cable from here to a switch, but the switch didn't have internet. So that was their problem. Simple stuff can ruin your first experience. So remember that. All right. An Ethernet cable is included, which is awesome. So you don't have to worry-ish about your uh, Ethernet cable. Um, it's still always great to have an Ethernet uh, cable tester on hand, so you can just verify. It's one simple thing you can do to check. I always like to crimp my own too, so that's a nice thing. So there you go. You hook up your power, connect it. Now, the next part on your, your configuration, after you plug this in, you want to pair with it. I recommend both doing Ethernet for the syncing status, syncing, like quick syncing, and then also just having Wi-Fi as a backup in case you're, you ever lose internet connectivity, but you have Wi-Fi connectivity, then you can still continue mining. So definitely recommend that. Um, also, a UPS is a great thing to have. All, they, if you're just losing your power for five minutes, your, a UPS will help you keep providing coverage. Now, you got to make sure that all your fault points are covered, so you want to make sure that your, your internet doesn't go down either for that time period. Having 24-7 as much as possible coverage is the way to get the most HNT, and those easy things can mess you up. So that is that for... Um, the Nebra unit. Now, uh, as I said, try out the different positions in your home, use discovery mode that's on your app, and then you'll want to, my recommendation is go outside. Uh, my earnings last fall, now keep in mind, this was with um, an Emirate unit, so I didn't quite get these, well, the total mine, it doesn't matter as far as Emirate or, or another thing. The miner that I had was mining hundreds of HNT a month. And of course I was only getting a, a fraction of that, but the, um, the mining, when I went from inside the house to uh, on a stock antenna to going outside the house, increased it by uh, hundreds of percentage points, if not thousands of percentage points. I don't know, like, so that I, it's hard to say, oh, I was earning this much HNT because now it sounds so foreign. Like nobody's earning, probably 20 HNT a day or t even 10 HNT a day. That would be pretty rare. I, I haven't surfed through all the hotspots lately. But uh, so it, it went from like darn near zero to a lot of HNT every day. And so um, going outside is a worthwhile investment. Unless you have really good coverage around you and there's a lot of miners, try that out first. But um, don't be afraid to go outside. There's just a different... Uh, a different application, a couple different rules you, you need to, to follow to get a good, really good um, setup outdoors. And to your betterment, I have videos. Please check those out. I'll put the links below. And as always, have questions? Well, reach out. So I told you and I promised you some good news about how you might be able to host one of these. So if you haven't heard about the program that I run, it's called the People's Hotspot. And it allows you to get in the queue. So if you have a queue, uh, if you have an order uh, from Nebra or even from a, another manufacturer, 
uh, then you can get in the queue for a, one of my miners. So I, I pass these around to people that have been in the queue, they've been waiting for their hotspot for a long time, and all you gotta do is satisfy a couple of criteria. You just gotta have you know, one or two miners uh, on order, then you um, have to have about three to five in, within a 20 kilometer radius of your location, and then what's the other one? Uh, it escapes me right now, but the earnings uh, right now are are ninety five percent to you and five percent to a community fund. So I I don't take any uh, H and or any yeah any earnings from that program. And so if you want to get that on that list, you just send me a message on Discord, Ed B Charlie Tango, and then say hey I'd like to get in the queue please. And then I'll take your your number, your order number, because that's how I rank them. And then the intention is to skip, almost like a skipping stone or a pay it forward program, to get through as many hosts as we can in that time frame. Uh, basically, so that you can get through the discovery modes and optimizing your setup just a little bit earlier, so that you can hit the ground running when you get your your miner. Um, that's the intention of the program, and also to give people a chance to try out these these units and um, from different manufacturers. So Nebra will be um, also providing one for the, the People's Hotspot. I don't know yet if it will be US or EU, UK at this point. Um, I, I left that option up to them and said, wherever you want to send it, uh, that would be awesome. But they are, they are totally on board, and Bobcat was also on board. I got one from Rack as well. So great way to spread the word about these miners check it out people's hotspot i've got some videos i'll throw those in the links below i also have an entire helium course that i've that I put all my videos together so you can just binge watch them all and get all up to speed on on helium and send it out to your, all your friends check in the description below i have all my links in there if i miss something call it out thank you for watching appreciate your time and i'm excited to fire this up take care everyone Carpe Tempestus.